should start every empties with the, I almost said bear in the big blue house. <laughs> the two big bottles in the blue house here. The Nevia Cream Moisture Moisturizing Body Wash. I don't have an infant anymore. My infant's about to be 18 soon. But that was his favorite show growing up. So I always think about Bear in the Big Blue House. And I was Luna. If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the Nevia Moisturizing Body Wash. All-time favorite body wash. I buy that now in bulk in bulk when it comes to your can't live without toiletries it's like a costco run now but just going to the regular store it's like if you don't buy it in bulk good luck trying to find it again <laughs> i mean like that's just what it feels like you know three bottles here and then my body wash i bought three bottles too so anyways that's how much you know i like it those are always in my uh, my empties. Royal Brittany Evening Primrose Oil. This is the one that I prefer. I take all the time. I take one a day. And I always like to say whenever I'm talking about these supplements, whether it's hair, skin, and nails, any other type of vitamins, make sure you check with your doctor, check with your pharmacist. Make sure you go that route first before you ingest something. I myself on this channel, I'm not going to tell you something that I have not tried myself, especially when it comes to something that you're going to put in to your body so I just want to make sure that you know you get that make sure you always check because you never know you know you just never know this one is from nature's way it's a live once daily women's ultra potency now this is the one I have always taken for so many I, I don't even remember how many years however they were out of this too when I went to several stores so I was in CVS I had my extra bucks and I asked my pharmacist you know what's the same as this I, by, by then I was just tired of trying to find that one and my pharmacist recommended this one so I'm just gonna tell you this is the one I'm on now it's one a day women's multivitamin women's formula so it says let's see it supports healthy healthy hair smooth skin and strong nails now I did tell him I already you know I take a hair vitamin already and he's like oh I know which one you take his wife actually takes that one too but he said no this is fine it won't like interfere I'm tossing my hair comb here this is what I will use to um, when I'm flat ironing my hair with the uh, flat iron so I go through like that and make it really nice and straight I'm tossing this one because once the the little teeth here start to mesh together that's going to start to snag on my hair and on the ends so I went ahead and already purchased another one this is from Conair I think I mentioned that in my last hair video that I did I'll just pick up Conair whatever brush or excuse me comb that looks like this with the long and I'll just pick it up and it tends to be by this brand. We have moved on from Daiso in this household and now the cotton pads of the Beauty 360, I get the 150 extra thick premium cotton squares. But these are my favorites now. I get this at CVS. It was just by Fluke, picking them up without a Daiso, couldn't get over there in time to pick them up. I love that discovery when it's just almost like an accident and then you find up really liking that. These are uh, what they say lint free. My son uses these more than I do because I use my Shiseido but I wanted him to have something that's still good for his toner and he not use a mama Shiseido. He does like those so always will pick those up and I have about a couple backups too just in case now I do have a nail product I do have a nail product this is from CND this is their base coat now this says sticky 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 base coat I really did enjoy this I used up well about up to there where you still see the green I pulled it out to do my nails rare occasion I don't know what happened I just was doing my nails all the time last year and then now I'm just like yeah there's just so much was going on so um, maybe fall I'll get around to doing my nails again and so I pulled this out and for some reason it dried up I don't know I don't know how it dried up it's been sitting in the same spot right there next to the uh, top coat so the top coat is fine I don't know why the the base coat dried up I have a few more need to go through but that is a product that I definitely see myself picking up again I didn't have any problem with it at all now I have a couple mascaras this is from pure 
fully charged I have talked about this one before I do like this mascara fully charged makes my lashes look full it makes them look long it's very much a mascara that I feel on me I get the effect of it's like an all-in-one so thickness and volume and separates and no clumps I really do like the brush on the pure but it's not something that I'm going to purchase a full size of I think by now I pretty much have my my tops you know and it used to be a top before I started fiddling around with other mascaras I'm trying to get through any and all of the Too Faced better than sex mascaras I think I have one more of this size left this needs no introduction of course this is probably one of the mascaras I think that so many people like and I am one of the select few who cannot stand this mascara it's not a mascara myself I would pick out and buy it's usually always in some sort of a Too Faced set or it's in some sort of a, a bag I get gift show whatever it might be that's how that mascara gets into my house but it's not something I personally would pick out it really does nothing for me I don't like the brush I find the mascara to be really clumpy and I just don't see anything with my lashes so for me it's a product that I just I'm like I know everybody loves it but I can't stand it I don't want anything to do with it that's just me now I have some pixie glow tonic products here I mentioned in several videos back that I have quite a few of these to go through and then I need to use up my huge like liter size I have two of them of the glow tonic this is the rose tonic rose and elderflower nourishing um, excuse me nourishing toner so this one is that soothing toner so I like to use this for PM use um, if I have like a strong mask I'm using I always want to uh, calm the skin down with this I've actually seen a Pixie at my local CVS now so it might be coming to CVS I don't know if all stores are gonna get it but that's wonderful extra but I do have a cleansing water this is from by Festa it's their bright up cleansing lotion this is a Japanese cleansing water this is actually one of the top selling Japanese micellular type waters I mean still so like number one in Japan so this is really good by Festa is known for cleansing waters they're known for products that are going to just well, absolutely clean the skin so if that's what they're known for that's what they invest in this is with this is all the innovative technology by Festa you know it's it's number one next is my heritage stone rose hip oil now this is uh, the rose hip seed oil this is a pretty big bottle actually too it says it's two ounces but I could it looks like it has like almost four or five ounces of product in here I mean this took me forever forever to use and it has a pump and everything and there was nothing wrong with it I mean it, it has the same type of rose hip the seed that I like that's in the ordinary that I saved the bo um, box here to show you so this is what I've moved on to because I noticed that when I was trying to find this in the stores again it was hard to find it so again you know I'll just, I'll just look around and try and get my replacements so this is the one I'm using now of course the um, ordinary and now ordinary is at my local Ulta so now I can just pick this up in person and actually get my point the last I have my up and up makeup remover cleansing towelettes now these are from the Target brand which is the up and up so when it comes to the up and up brand from Target I love love the eye makeup remover that is my eye makeup remover of life I prefer that one over the Neutrogena which is what the generic up and up is supposed to you know be replicating same thing with the cleansing wipes I prefer this the up and up one over the actual brand one of the Neutrogena I don't I personally don't feel that ingredient to ingredient that they're either neck and neck they may have a different percentage of something else I don't know what it is with the up and up but this and the eye makeup remover works better than the actual brand that's it those are all my empties for July let me know if you have any questions about what I've talked about if you're using some of the products if you have questions on those products now's the time ask me how do I use it and so forth and so forth leave them down as comments and I'll get right back to you thank you all for stopping by and watching the channel I do appreciate that I always want to make sure to thank you as the viewer for stopping by whether you're new 
why don't you always have been there with me I appreciate it you can pick whoever you like to see now on the channels and there's a lot of us and that you take the time out to see me I appreciate that very much everyone have a wonderful day a wonderful evening and as always oh, I gotta to get that thumb up on my finger as always I will see you in the next video goodbye everyone